Yo, yo, yo. Okay, today I'm going to show you very quickly how to set up a customer win back flow inside Klaviyo for customers who are about to churn from your business or maybe just haven't placed an order in a long time. So we'll talk about the technical settings, why it should be set up and how, the email content inside each of the emails, and then we'll talk about this conditional split, which I recommend that comes around the halfway point. Now, the first thing about the settings to note is that this is going to be dependent on what type of business and industry you're in. I'm using 90 days as an example here, but this is very generic. Let's say you were selling supplements or something, or you had a cosmetic product and the regular purchase life cycle is every 30 days, then this would be a reasonable mark. But you need to know your data in order to set this up most effectively. But let's say for the sake of simplicity, I'm selling protein powder, you order every 30 days, and if somebody hasn't placed an order by this point, it may be safe to assume that they're going to churn or that they've probably switched to a competitor or they're at risk of doing so. So someone will enter this flow when they've placed an order, and we wanted to say placed order zero times since starting the flow so that they get kicked out if they do place an order whilst in the flow. And let's say 90 days after the initial order without a repeat purchase, they will enter it. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a custom property that updates the customer win back as active. And the reason we do this is because we want to exclude these customers from receiving regular campaigns. And I'll explain why shortly because of the way this is structured. First email is just going to be very, very simple. Just tell them that you miss them, remind them of the value proposition of the brand or the company. Just keep it very, very basic and focused on the benefits and remind them of the value proposition and why they bought from you previously. Wait a day and you can go in and just showcase off the best sellers again. Maybe even ask the customer why have they not purchased in a while. Do some progressive profiling um, and then that will be a very, very simple, straightforward email again. But you're just trying to re-engage and provide value to the customer. Now, after you've sent these two emails, if they still haven't purchased, I recommend putting a conditional split and then separating them out by order frequency in the past to loyal customers who've placed an order over two times, for example, or single purchase customers who will go down this path. And the reason being is because you're going to enter them into a discount ladder and you're going to give your best discounts to the repeat customers, the most loyal ones over all time. And then the people who've placed a single order, for example, will get the lower discount. Reason I recommend setting it up like this is because people who've placed more than two orders over all time are probably more likely to be stronger believers in the brand and more valuable to you as a business. Not to say that the single time customers don't matter, but you might not want to dig into your margin so much and condition them to discount. So this is up to you. Again, you need to look at your data determine which is most important to you, um, how your margin is importantly. And then what you're going to want to do is wait a week and then go in with a 48 hour dynamic coupon offer. So let's say for example, the customer's placed two orders over all time. They're going to go down this path and then you're going to want to go in with a dynamic coupon code. Here's our best discount. We'd love for you to try us again. Um, this lasts for 48 hours. It's very important to make the time sensitivity on there. Now, if there's no response to the initial email, they will get a reminder the following day that it's got 24 hours to expire. And this is where I recommend going in with a message from the CEO or the founder. This is just a really nice personalized touch point. Um, and we found this to converge really highly up to 2%, sometimes even 3% if you uh, really get the content right in the body of the email, which is incredible really considering a lot of these customers are just out of the purchase uh, buying life cycle. So just go in, remind them again of the value proposition, say it's your best coupon, best offer that you're able to offer, and just remind them of that time sensitivity. If there is no response to this, then obviously you will pass through. And then at the end, you're going to want to update this custom property, customer win back as active to inactive, which will let you know that they've exited the flow. And then anyone who has had that property added to them, what you will do is add them to the exclusion segment from campaigns so that they're able to pass through this customer journey in a very specific way. 
So just a recap again, someone will enter it when they've placed an order, but not for a period of time. I'm just using 90 days as an example. They'll be tagged and then they'll enter the exclusion segment of the campaigns so that they don't receive campaign emails. Remind them of your value proposition, find out the reasons why they haven't purchased, separate them out at the halfway point into a discount ladder if they are a loyal customer over all time and you want to put more effort into retaining them, maybe offer your best discount, make sure it's a dynamic coupon and that it expires and then use the message from the CEO at the end. Very simple structure and I found it to work really well in stopping customers from churning and converting them.